Features and benefits. Features and benefits. This is something that's discussed a lot in the copywriting world because it's so important. Too many websites are just talking about themselves and the, the, you know, the facts or the, the specs about a, their products and services. And those things really aren't interesting or even sexy to your target audience. You know, people are always listening to one radio station and that's what we call what's in it for me or WIIFM, what's in it for me. That's what we care about at the end of the day. So you wanna make sure that your copy, a good way to test is if you're talking, you know, about the benefits of what people get and not just the features, a good way to quickly check is to do a word count. How many times are you using the word you as opposed to using the words we, us, or our? You know, you're just talking about yourself and how great you are and how great your products are, or are you talking to your audience and explaining the benefits and the problems that you help them with, or how your product or service can help solve those problems? So it's really important. I've got an exercise in this video that you can walk through that's gonna really help you quite quickly transform boring features into irresistible benefits. When people buy products such as a drill, they're not actually buying a drill. They're buying a hole in the wall. You know, they're buying what that drill can do for them. No one really cares about this lumpy product or drill. They care what it can do, what they can build, what they can create. And that's what you gotta think about when you're writing your benefits or you're, when you're turning your features into benefits. So this simple exercise is gonna help you and it's really asking yourself one of two questions when you're thinking about your features and turning them into benefits. So the first question is, which means? And the second question is, so what? Which means or so what? Ask yourself either of these questions when you're looking at each of your benefits, sorry, each of your features. You've got a, uh, a worksheet inside the class project and in this worksheet, you're gonna see the very exercise I'm talking about. You'll see a couple of columns and I've already provided an example here and this is from the iPhone 8. So I looked at the iPhone 8 and I took two of their features. One of them is it has a 13 and a half hour battery life. So that's a feature of the iPhone 8. It also has a 5.5 inch Retina HD display, okay? So they're two of the, you know, product specifications or features of the iPhone 8. And then what you see here is I've transformed each of those into benefits, their own benefits that I would probably use if I was hired to write, you know, the uh, landing page for the iPhone 8. And you simply ask the question, which means or so what? So with a 13 hour, 13 and a half hour battery life, well, so what? Well, so what? You'll be able to watch videos, view photos, browse the internet for almost the entire day without running out of battery. So that's the benefit of what that 13 and a half hour battery life can do for me. That's what it does for me. That's the which means benefit. Then we have another one which you can read in your own time about the, um, the retina display as well. So use that exercise for transforming your features into benefits and take the time in that worksheet to write down as many product features that you can think of of your product or service. Think of as many as you can think of and then take them, ask yourself one of those questions, transform them into benefits. Okay, so that's how you turn boring features into irresistible benefits. But then how do you use or display your features and benefits in the copy? I wanna give you an example right now. We'll dive on the computer and I'll just show an example page on how I like to lay out my features and benefits in a landing page. So the website we're looking at here, or the landing page, is from Shopify. Shopify is a place uh, where you can set up your own e-commerce website to sell things online. It's like an all-in-one you know, website builder and marketing suite as well. So what I wanna show you on this page is how they're using copy to talk about their features and benefits. And this is something that Apple first came up with, Apple as a company and Apple on their website. You'll notice a lot of Apple's landing pages or product pages use the same method uh, when they're laying out their features and benefits. So what I like to do is I think of the page as sections. And when I'm talking about the features or benefits, I take the biggest features and benefits and I dedicate one section per feature or benefit. For example, one of the things they're talking about here is their domain name and how you don't need a, you don't need 
to be a designer or a coder, you can you can do it all yourself easily. Okay, so that's a big feature and benefit. So they're using an image here to draw the eye into this section. They've got a heading, a subheading, and then the copy. And that really talks about that feature and benefit in this section alone. So it's focused on that one feature and benefit. The fact that you can design it how you want your brand. You don't need any design skills. So a big thing they want to mention. Then we go down and then we have a, another section here. And as you'll notice, um, the images have swapped. So now the image is on this side. And the reason for that is, remember when you're scanning and scrolling, we want to get people's attention and we want to keep them interested in the copy and staying on the page. And the way we do that is by providing a surprise. And because that image had swapped, it's now in a different section, um, that engages people because they don't know what to expect. They don't know what's going to happen next. Now they want to talk here about everything in one place. And notice how they're using a bulleted list for those scanners and the scrollers they're using an interesting cartoon image. And then this talks about, you know, one particular feature and benefit um, and how everything's in one place and can be controlled easily. So that's, again, a section dedicated to that. As we go down more, they have, uh, you know, different sections here, uh, more sections. These are more testimonials and the number of users. But then down here, for those people that want even more information, they want to know about all of the features. It's customary to have something like this section, especially when we're talking about software, but it could, it could also work for a gym, could work for, you know, bridal or weddings. It could work for restaurants. It could work for any industries. If you want to talk about all of the features that you offer, features and benefits, you can then have, you know, some of those important ones or maybe less important ones further down the page and uh, you can organize them like this. So that's just one of the ways I like to lay out uh, features and benefits. Obviously, I did not write the Shopify uh, landing page, but I do identify with it as a great strategy that we often use when uh, laying out our features and benefits on any of the web pages that we're writing.